Hello and welcome to part 7 of this tutorial series. In this part we are going to talk about scheduling. Quartz offers multiple scheduling options to achieve your needs. One of them is Simple Schedule, which we will be discussing in this video. Simple Schedule offers the basics of what you need in a basic job scheduling scenario. If you just need a schedule that repeats on a simple interval, that repeats forever or repeats a certain amount of times, then Simple Schedule is what you need. Simple Schedule has four interval methods that you can use for your trigger. You can set an interval in seconds, minutes, hours, or you can use a time span which gives you more power over what you want to set. In order for these schedules to work, they need a repeat count. Simple Schedule offers two methods for setting the repeat count. One is repeat forever. As the name implies, the schedule will repeat forever. The other one is with repeat count, which takes an integer parameter where you can set the number of times you want the schedule to repeat. If we do not set a repeat count, then the schedule will execute only once. Now, let's see the schedules in action. Let's head to our project where we left off in our previous video. Let's remove the second trigger since we don't need it anymore. The with simple schedule method has a parameter, an action, which outputs a simple schedule builder, which we use to build our schedule, which has our methods inside, like with interval in hours, minutes, and repeat count. Let's change our simple schedule to use a time span instead. Time span is part of the using system namespace, so let's add that namespace. And let's set it to repeat forever. Let's run the application. Let's start our simple job. And we can see that our job gets executed every 5 seconds. As you can see, using the simple schedule should be enough for basic repeating jobs. If you need more complex scheduling options, we will be discussing them in the next videos to come.